Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Frisdale, and today I'm going to be pairing The Last Rites by Black Label Trading Company, aka Black Work Studio. And this is a beauty of a Petite Lancero, six and a half by 42 ring gauge cigar. This was originally released, like most of the Last Rites lines, at the IPCPR circa 2017, 2018, and it is just an uber dark, almost a scuro, Ecuadorian Maduro wrapper over Honduran binder with fillers from both Nicaragua and Honduras. And to pair with this, I've got myself a little bit of Riesling. I originally did the Codigo um, Artisanal Mezcal, and that Mezcal actually receives like three months or two weeks, sorry, three weeks of time in Sauvignon Blanc cask, which is something that I forgot to mention in the video. But the McBride Sisters Black Girl Magic Riesling, this is a newer product, came out 2020, and this is black and female owned. Partially um, Angela and James Brown own this together, so this is partially female owned as far as the cigar goes. And I mean, this is just a fantastic expression of apricot, honey, and jasmine. And I just think that, you know, I talk so much about off dry Rieslings and just Rieslings in general with cigars. Why not pair some? So I think this is a fantastic bottle that you can find for $15, $20 retail at the most. Ton of honey, apricot, jasmine tea, flowers, just fantastic. Very refreshing. This cold draw is like red pepper. Just send out the pizza. It's got oregano, red pepper, ready to go. We got baking spices, we got oregano, and we got red pepper. And I figured, you know, with this rich, dark Maduro wrapper, I would really appreciate some more of the apricot coming in. Originally, when I grabbed this from my local brick and mortar, and these are about $9 MSRP, a box of 20, running 180 bucks. Um, I noticed that the first one that I smoked, there's a ton of citrus on the first third, along with some nice earthy notes. The cigar never really got past medium, medium plus. So although the wrapper looks intimidating because it's darker, certainly not. It's, it's very, very playful. And the second third actually kind of takes a step back and just, not, doesn't take a step back in flavor, but it takes a step back in intensity. There's a lot of sweet cream, some nutty components that come through, along with all the wonderful kind of barnyard earthy notes that you get off the initial first third too. The ending of the cigar is filled with earth, barnyard, hay, sweet peppers, and just kind of some roasted coffee. With the Riesling, as I stated before, there's a ton of honey in this, which I think helps out a lot because the cigar is very arid throughout the smoking section, session. It's dry, it doesn't have a ton of sweetness outside of the sweet cream component, but the wine does help it along with kind of the extra added sugar, as well as the apricot, the honey, the jasmine tea flowers, which is my favorite part of this pairing, honestly, is those like jasmine floral components from the Riesling interacting with the cigar. I've said this before, I think that Blackwork Studio, they have this, they have these blends that have all of this great versatility with tea. And I think that spirits that have a lot more kind of tea textures, components, flavors to them work really, really well with their cigars, regardless of what type of spirit it is even. And Black Girl Magic has an entire assortment of wines, Rieslings, Red Blend. They also do some wonderful kind of canned options, which I think we're going to see more and more come summertime now. The canned RTD wines are here and, and they're, they're a thing. So, but fantastic Riesling. Really nice, not too sweet, kind of off dry. Fantastic, crisp apricot, honey, jasmine. It's delicious. Um, for 20 bucks, 
$25, you have yourself a treat right here. Grab yourself a little bit of Black Label Trading Company's Last Rites in the Petite Lancero. Grab yourself a bottle of Black Girl Magic and have some fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. If you found value in this episode, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, at Master Ash. Let me know below, what was your favorite cigar that you had from Black Label Trading so far? For mine, I think it's still the Killer B. Not 100% sure, but I still think it's the Killer B. And I'll catch you next time for another cigar and wine pairing.